give sorrow words. The grief that does not speak whispers the all-fraught heart and bids it break. No, I won't. I will not shoot. I was brought to the highest in command. You have to decide if I'm a non-compliant soldier or someone with a conscience. Why did I survive? Did I have any value? I wore my darkness like a shroud. Is someone watching over me? Do I actually have a guardian angel steering me back to life? I am raised from the dead. Shakespeare's words give voice to my thoughts. And by becoming those words, I am elevated from the dungeon. Oh, that this too, too sullied flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter. Oh, God, God! How weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. I did shoot, and it wasn't at a silhouette of a person, but a living, breathing human being. Heavy I was, sinking into mud, endlessly falling, going back and back, down and down, endlessly rising I am, a gossamer silver cord rising from my chest, up and out I am, to the dark skies above I am, pulled in two I am, falling and flying, weighted and weightless, neither this nor that. And who? Truly, who am I, obliterated, forgetting, forgotten, melting into thin air, no air, bloodless, formless, I am not. I lay there, looking up at the night stars that were brilliant, their sparkle alluring and beckoning me to rise up, up, and out. A window opened in the cage of horror that was my black box, and I felt myself rise and fly up into that endless, twinkling field. And then I was no more, not here, not there, not anywhere. Was I really free now? to leave it all behind. And then, I was back, floating on the ceiling. Reading Shakespeare in school was a revelation. He was and is my mouthpiece, writing about my stuff, my story. And that made me feel important, seen and heard. When, when, when I played Mariana in Measure for Measure, from her hollow place of rejection, coupled with my fragile mental state, I, I felt that I was making a deep connection to the audience. My light bulb moment was the realization that what really unites us is our struggles. And his words, created a safe place for me. It was my first glimpse into my sense of purpose and value. Shnayim ochazim betalit, zeh omer kula sheli, vzeh omer kula sheli. As this well-known tractate from the Talmud teaches, yeah, two people are holding a prayer show, yeah, each claiming it as his own. That prayer show 
was my captive childhood. And who does it belong to? The parent who shapes it or the child who lives it? Tell me, do any of us have a choice? Or are we just acting out? Well, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. The slogan of survival became, never again. The new Jew, the Israeli, was no longer a lamb led to slaughter, but a warrior with a creed of strength, self-determination, and the right to exist. But, At what cost? Bombs shake the foundation of our humanity. The scars of war on both sides never fade. I get it. There is no rushing my exit. The time comes when it comes. A higher power than myself is navigating me through my labyrinth. And now that my bank account of time is dwindling, now, yeah, now, no, yes, now, ha, I want to live in the light of now. <laughs>